Hey, okay, so today we're drinking Klein. It's a 2018 Old Vines Infandale from California. This one has 14.5% alcohol, 9 grams of sugar per liter. Poured my glass, has a beautiful color, a nice like deep garnet red with like a tiny, tiny bit of purple like around the rim, but mostly like a nice deep, deep dark red. Um, old vine. Why do you want an old vine Zinfandel? So basically, the longer that a vine produces grapes, the less grapes it'll grow um, each each year. Meaning that the grapes that it does grow and produce are a lot more concentrated. They ripen way eat more evenly, and ultimately, you produce a better wine. So I'm very excited to try this one. So. There isn't technically a set year that um, defines an old vine versus a new vine. So I would say if it's past 40 or 50 years, you're going to have an exceptional, exceptional wine. Um, but technically, if a winemaker has a vine that's over 10 years old, they can call it an old vine, what, Zinfandel. So how do you know? This one I actually looked on the back, but some of them you might have to do some research. So this one, it actually says Old Vines Infandel dates back to 1942, making them 70 years old. So I'm very excited to try this one. Um, I know it's going to be packed with punch, packed with tannins, packed with flavor. Um, and I usually love red, reds from California because they have a little bit more of like a fruity note. They're a little bit more full body. Um... I'm getting like a blackberry kind of flavor or aroma. <laughs> the nice thing about Zinfandels, when you smell it, usually you smell what you taste. So the aroma is going to help you decide what the flavor in your mouth is going to be. It's also very earthy, this one, which kind of makes sense. It comes from an older vine. You're going to get a little bit more an earthy aromas, earthy taste notes. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting like vanilla, but not the same type of vanilla you get in like a cab salve. It has like a spice to it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's so smooth. You get that like pack punch. Like you can, it's very tanniny. But you get like a blackberry, raspberry. It lingers in your mouth for a while, but very smooth. Way lighter than a Cab Sav, I would say. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Oh, I did not, I was not expecting how much I would like this. It You get that like berry, crushed berry, um vanilla and then this like nice kind of spicy earthy note that kind of lingers further back on your tongue kind of at the side it's oh it's so so delightful I love the way that a wine feels in your mouth as you're experiencing the flavors and I also appreciate when you kind of every time you take a sip of a wine you taste something different and I'm definitely getting that with this one what would I pair with this anything I would say, like, you can probably do dessert with it. A nice, rich, like, decadent, something chocolate with, like, nuts on it, like pecans or almonds. Something spicy you can definitely do. If you're vegan or vegetarian, um, like, spice up your tofu for sure. Or even, like, a, I don't eat mushrooms, but, like, a hearty mushroom, I would say, from um, people who eat mushrooms. Um, like a nice kind of barbecue smoky, that barbecue sauce rib would be, oh my gosh, delightful with this. Or even like lamb. If you, if you eat lamb, oh my gosh, it'd be so good. This one was, I think, 16 or $17 at the LCBO. Not going to bake, bake, break, oh my goodness. Your quarantine budget, 
So I definitely recommend this wine. Oh my gosh, is it ever good. If you have not gotten your long weekend bevies yet, pick this bad boy up.